Yo, what to do? All right, so today we're gonna look at the Pale Rider Power Armor skin. So this Power Armor will work on, I believe, all of the Power Armors, including the T65. It does work, I've tested it. So I will show that off in a second. But I'm uh, just gonna show this right here. It's kind of like this uh, wintery, uh, you know, Pale Rider, obviously pale, hence white, paley, uh, pale face, uh, whatever for my native people out there what up but you'll notice right here at the bottom it says it can be equipped on excavator raider t65 51 60 ultra sight and x01 power armor now i'll talk a little bit about what i don't like about this power armor in regards to x01 let's go ahead and jump into the game and then i will show it off all right so here we are with the power armor let me jump on the modify right here the power armor station. So as you can see right now on the right arm, I have the T65. So what I wanna do is I just wanted to show you that you can modify this with the Pale Rider paint right there. As you can see, it does apply to it. So just wanted to show that off before I do anything else because you know sometimes I'll have people ask me, does it work on T65? And you can see the different paint schemes that I own that work on T65 right here. All right, so now we have a full set of X01 power armor here, and we'll go into photo mode so you guys can get a better view of it. And you can see right here what it looks like. Now this is X01, and this is one of the things that I don't really like about this particular power armor is it changes the whole look of like the shoulder pads, you know, from the arm pieces and the helmet. It looks more like a T-series power armor than it does X01. In my opinion, it does, just doesn't look like X01 to me, and I'll get in it and uh, show you what it looks like with the eyes on and off, stuff like that, and then we'll go uh, do a little demo with it over there at uh, West Tech or something. Let's go back in here so we can get a good view of this. So we'll zoom in on the helmet right here with the eyes off. And then it's kind of like faded, like I think the War Rider and then the Black Rider the Black Rider looks really good. The War Rider looks dope, too. The only one I don't have is the... There's one other one that I'm missing. I can't remember what it is. Uh, there was four of them. So with the headlamp on right there, you can see he's kind of like in the middle of his head. Can't really see it because it's not dark. It, this just doesn't feel like X01 to me. And again, like with all these power armors or with a lot of them, the jetpack doesn't get... Uh, like a skin applied to it. And as far as I know, this one didn't have like a skin pack. I knew like the Red Rocket Ranger Power Armor, that one had a bundle that come with like its own uh, jet pack. And then I believe the Free State one had its own jet pack as well, which I actually own that one. And then I own the Red Rocket on my other account. So we'll jump into third person. Let's dope the red on the gun. So we'll jump, here's what it looks like with the jet pack. I don't know. It kind of looks dope to me. I like it. Well, that was a three-star legendary, wasn't it? Finding that is going to be a challenge. Oh, there it goes. But that is the Pale Rider Power Armor skin. You can find it in the Atomic Shop. If you want to save a little money on Atoms and you're on console, check the first link to Amazon. Sometimes you're able to buy these for a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Sometimes they're like a dollar or two off. You can really see that red lamp now, but not as cool as some of the other Power Armors. It would have been cooler if the eyes lit up on it, like if they did the, the, the eye shield like glowing red instead of like the lamp. But uh, that's it right there. Let me know what you think about this Pale Rider. Um, of the three Rider skins that I own, which is the Black Rider, the War Rider, and the Pale Rider, it's probably my least favorite. But you can see some of the design right there. Kind of looks like a fidget spinner. And we'll just do a little roundabout here on it. But uh, let me know what you think about it. I think the Wintery Wanderer, that like white camo one, looked better than this. And it's kind of like, like a brownish, like it's like a dirty white like brown, 
I don't know, like a rusty or something. I don't know. It's not bad. I just don't like the way it changes my X01 into like a T-Series looking helmet. Just doesn't look like X01-ish to me or whatever. But uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Give that video a thumbs up. Hit that sub button. I'm out. Peace.